from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top star is trying to get through the third wave of the coronavirus, and vaccination is the key. Health Minister Wells took his second corona shot and tells the media the country needs more persons to go out and get vaccinated. He estimates that we need to get to around 120,000 vaccinated persons to be in what he called a good place. Health officials say it takes about 80% of the population getting vaccinated to reach what is called herd immunity. We're not there yet. Through Sunday, close to 50,000 persons had received at least one shot. Calls continue for persons to go out and get vaccinated. This is Tourism Minister Diagula and his position. People are just tired of COVID, so people are getting very relaxed. They're tired of curfew. They're tired of having to, you know, not congregate. But in order to be able to congregate, you have to vaccinate. People are tired of hearing about it, but if the economy is to rebound, people are to get uh, employed, we have to vaccinate. A big drop in Monday's confirmed cases, just 15 reported by the Ministry of Health, eight in the capital, three each in Andros and Cat Island, still in lockdown mode, one in Inagua. The hospital numbers continue to be manageable. 52 persons are still being treated five of them in intensive care. Officials reporting no additional deaths. That total remains at 230. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Works Minister Bannister updating the numbers relating to house demolitions in the farm Shantytown and Abaco, 23 last week. They've targeted 20 more for this week. There is opposition, but the minister is contending that the demolished structures are in violation of the existing Shantytown Court injunction. The matter remains before the Supreme Court, but no ruling has been handed down yet. More than a dozen passengers heard when a ferry boat ran aground in the area of Mount Key in the Abacos. Authorities are looking into the circumstances. None of the injuries believed to be life-threatening. The high-profile fraud trial of businessman Rudy King is now underway in court. The first witnesses have already been called by the prosecution. Another murder reported a man found dead in a car in Dundestown, Abaco. He had gunshot wounds. Initial reports say the victim is 41-year-old Cohen Lightburn, who had been previously convicted on a manslaughter charge. Budget debate begins in the House today. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. That weather system in the area continues to produce unsettled weather, mostly cloudy, showers around, highs in the mid-80s. 84 at Freeport, 84 in the capital, 86 at Matthew Town. Boston flags up for boaters, winds gusting to 20 knots, the seas up to 6 feet over open waters. Low tide now, the next high around 3 this afternoon. Mostly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. Showers could still be in the area. No systems in the tropics. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We are in the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, Nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's World News headlines. Nigerian officials say 150 children were abducted from a school in the northern part of the country by gunmen earlier this week, some of them as young as six. Relatives of those children now fearing for their safety. That cargo ship, which has been burning off the coast of Sri Lanka for the past 13 days, is about to sink. That's going to dump a lot of oil into the ocean there. It could trigger an environmental disaster in that area. The coronavirus continues to spread in some parts of the world, Peru among the countries now facing challenges. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, Shell 491, SO501, Rubis, $5.01 per gallon in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. A couple of judo experts heading for the World Championships. Read about them in the Tribune Sports. Jazz is back in the Marlins lineup after missing a number of games with that ankle problem. Find out what he did against the Blue Jays last night. Another good night for DeAndre Ayton and the Suns. They beat the Lakers to take a 3-2 lead in their NBA playoff series. Read about that in the rest of the NBA playoffs. John Quayle had 23 points to lead the Sun to another win in the WNBA last night. And still questions about the Olympic Games and will they come off? Read about the latest in the Tribune Sports Wednesday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.